Well, dozens of tents and piles of debris are being cleared from Dockweiler State Beach as homeless encampment cleanups continue there. Residents have been calling on the tents to be cleaned up for months, citing sanitation and also safety issues. Now, the cleanup began early today with crews making their way up the coast. KTLA 5's Kimberly Chang is live in Playa del Rey with the details. Kimberly? Hi, the cleanup began early this morning. I can tell you that several of these areas were cleaned up hours ago, only to have tents pop up again, though a few minutes ago we did see an officer circling around to check on these areas again. We saw LA County beaches and harbors, LAPD officers, as well as recreation and parks here. They were moving from tent to tent, encampment to encampment, spread out along Dockweiler Beach. Residents watched as several homeless encampments and tents along Dockweiler Beach were removed during a cleanup Thursday. Park rangers posted signs ahead of the cleanup to notify people to leave. LA City Council member Tracy Park, whose 11th district includes this area, is involved in this cleanup operation. Residents have concerns about safety and say an increasing number of encampments and tents have been set up here in the past couple of months. It's an ongoing problem and you walk by and people are you can smell marijuana. You can see people that are really aggressive. And by cleaning it up, it's a step in the right direction. We've had a 400% increase in uh, encampments in the past three months. And we believe they're coming in from other communities. We're scared. I mean, there's there's some people that are throwing rocks at us. They're yelling at us. They're telling us, you know, don't go near their encampment. There's, there's syringes. Um, you know, there's uh, sanitation issues. The crackdown comes weeks after Governor Gavin Newsom issued an executive order directing state agencies to clear encampments from state land and pressured local government to do the same. Dockweiler is a state beach. A lot of the people, they're very nice people. They just are having a hard time. And um, to see them forced to go, hopefully they provide them with a place to go. The but encampments, as far as I'm concerned, haven't been that heavy right through here. It's kind of an open place, not really in a residential neighborhood. so. But like I said, I feel for the people that somebody, they have to have a place to stay. So I'm kind of drawn one way or the other. I'm not. But it has to be ongoing. And then pretty soon they'll get the message and they'll move on somewhere else or go get uh, seek help at a shelter. We also spoke with a man who was in an encampment on the beach. He says he's been staying here a few months. This morning he left with some of his belongings. Crews dumped what was left. You didn't have to have the attitude that obviously always be more compassionate when it comes to a person's needs, especially uh, people that are homeless are going through it. Not everyone's mentally stable. Did they offer you housing? Um, I'm actually uh, uh, on a waiting list. Now, we asked for an interview with Councilmember Tracy Park. In response, we received this statement, which reads in part, I have called upon the state and county to step up and provide long-term solutions rather than band-aids for addressing this and other state and county-owned or maintained sites throughout CD11. Back here live, Councilmember Park also said the beaches in her district are jurisdictionally complex involving the state, county, and city. Uh, this is a coordinated effort, she said, by the Coastal Care Plus team, a new resource secured for for the beach and coastal communities in the city budget. Reporting live in Playa del Rey, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News.